Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. We're dedicated to delivering quality auto parts, expert customer service, fast and free shipping, all backed by our 100% satisfaction guarantee. So visit us at 1AAuto.com, your trusted source for quality auto parts. In this video, we're gonna show you how to replace a four-wheel drive shift actuator. We'll be working on our 2006 Ford Explorer. We hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please click subscribe and you'll have access to a whole bunch of other Explorer and Sport Track and Mountaineer videos, as well as lots of other makes and models. If you need this part for your vehicle, click the link down in the description. Go to 1AAuto.com. We want to be your part source. And here are the items you need for this repair. The four-wheel drive transfer case shift motor, you're going to want to raise and support the vehicle. Come in from the driver's side. You can see the muffler here the back of your transfer case and your motor is right up in here. And first we're going to want to remove this heat shield which is two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and then one is up. A little bit hard to see but right up here. 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Oh, and there is one more 10 millimeter bolt back here that you have to remove. Four 10 millimeter bolts hold it. One very easy here. There's one here and note that your black ground wire is wired in and connected there. There's another one right here and one on top, it's pretty difficult to see. You can see I've got my new one here, the one here, and then the three that are on the motor there. We'll disconnect our harness, a little tab, push with one thumb, pull down, then we'll remove the four 10 millimeter bolts. Flat plate screwdriver or a pry bar. Just break it loose and it comes right off. Once it's down, needle nose pliers, grab this red locking strip and pull it out. Okay, and then there's just little tabs that you have to work in here. Small screwdriver, pry the tab, and then pull on the, the brown wire. I pulled it out a little bit. Now your motor's out. Original transfer shift case motor out of a Ford Explorer. New part from 1A Auto. You can see they're exactly the same. Connections are the same. If you're replacing it, you'll take this bracket off of the old one. And put it on to your new one. It'll bolt down like that. This negative wire, you actually want to make sure that you put between the bracket and the motor when you put it together. Um, it's got the right bracket. You'll tighten this up once, you're, once it's in the vehicle, but everything's gonna go in. It's gonna plug in exactly the same. It's gonna install the same and function correctly. And if you're having trouble um, getting different uh, versions of four-wheel drive, four high or four low, this motor will fix your problem. Most of the time, these fail in the two high position, so you won't have to change the position of the shaft at all. But if yours failed in four high or neutral, you may have to grab the shaft with pliers and turn it in order to make it match up to the transfer case shift motor before you put it together. Put your new shift motor up in. It should go right on. We'll put this, start this bolt in here on the side. And then the top bolt, nothing special has to go on. So we'll start the top bolt as well. And just gonna 
I'm not going to tighten it up yet, but I'm just going to get it in further so it's secure. The brown wire from the vehicle goes in right next to the black wire on the corner. Push it in. Make sure you hear it click. And then reinstall this locking tab. For these two bottom bolts, remember this one goes through that wiring bracket first, and then through this bracket into the motor and transfer case. Start it in a little bit. And again, remember to make sure you bring this ground wire down in between the bracket and the motor. And put your bolt through. So we'll go ahead and tighten everything up. I'm going to tighten the top up first. When I tighten this bottom one, I want to pull this wire down so it's not contacting anything. It's nice and free. And then this one, just make sure this bracket is positioned well. And now before I tighten up this, I'll tighten up these two nuts that hold the bracket on the end. They're also 10 millimeter. I go around and give a final tighten to these bolts. There's no torque spec. Just want to make sure they're tight, but not too tight. And then we can reconnect our harness. Put your heat shield back in place. Just make sure you get all the wires inside and then re-secure it with your three 10 millimeter bolts. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.